We're going to see the slider settings inside the editor. All right. So let me add the slider. But as you might have understood by now, whenever it comes to adding any element, first you add a section, then you add a column and then you add the element all right so let's add the slider now so this is important for the responsiveness of the uh, page all right now let's go to the slider let's click on the settings so you, there, there are the slider settings right over here right where you can change the caption and the sub caption and then you go to the main settings where you can change the images all right so number one first thing is let's change the images for example i want to add some images over here let's say i want to add i mean these are random images that i'm putting right now right this is the image for slider number one um image for let's say slider number two let's say we use this one for a third and let's say i want to add more images let's say fourth fifth right so in the fourth i want to add this one in the fifth one i want to add let's say this all right so these are the all the images that we have added right uh, now let's say we want to change and play around with the uh, uh, let's say the size of the slider number one you know this is the default one but let's say i want to make it small or maybe i want to make it medium i want to make it large or i want to make it extra large all right so this is like more like a fixed kind of uh, design right over here or if i keep it default then it will have the different you know uh, size for all the images uh, in the editor itself all right let's let's keep it medium as of now all right okay uh, or maybe large as of now all right now what are the other settings for example what is the slider speed so basically these images will keep on auto rotating on the page depending upon the slider speed so you know whether it is one two three four five so let's keep it to two second but at the same time do you want them to auto rotate so that is something that you can uh, you know select with the auto play so if this is on then they will auto rotate if this is off it won't all right that's that's uh, the setting now let's suppose now you have selected image number one so if you want to change the caption this this is the caption right this is the text that comes with the image so you need to go to the first settings and then you can say first let's say image caption all right and if you want to change the sub caption which is this one so you go to the sub caption settings first image sub caption got it uh, you go back to the image let's suppose now you want to do the same thing for the second image so you go you select the image from here you go back to the settings and then you do the same thing over here right so second I mean you will put a relevant text over here of course right so second image sub caption and in the uh, caption I will put the second image caption right let's let's publish it what I was saying was that uh, uh, let's go to the page, let's go to the main page and over there let's have a look at the page, how is it going to uh, look on the main page and there is one more very important thing that I need to tell you, alright, so in the published URL, have a look at this, this is the slider, you know this is how it is looking right now, this is the first slide, this is the second one, third, fourth, and fifth this is you know with the uh, default uh, text and the default size if you will see the second image caption is here second image sub caption is here first image caption and sub caption is here right probably we didn't save the caption for the first image all right so that's that's these are all the settings uh, along with that let's suppose if you want to change the size now all right for example I want to go back and let's say I want to make it extra large and now click on publish alright let's let's click on publish now so I just want to show you the difference and uh, yeah there is one more thing that I said that is one more very important thing that I need to tell you so let me just tell you in in, in, a, in a moment first of all let it publish and let's uh, open it so now you will see it is large right you can see the difference in the size right um, 
yeah you can compare the two images right so this is this is one thing now the second thing is that uh, uh, let's suppose you know the images over here if you will see for example this is a bit distorted this is this is a bit distorted this is a bit distorted so uh, you know the original image let's say if i make it default this is the original image actually right this is how it looks so this is this is the perfect dimension for this particular image but this is not the exact size in which you know uh, we want the slider to be all right so let's let's save it and let's have a look at it so i have made the settings as default okay slider height as default in this one so now when you look at the slider this is how it is looking you know with the default size of the images now this image is like this but you know this image is like this i mean you know all of these images have a different size right so they are going to look different so what my suggestion to you is that you know you create images in a perfect size in in a in a ideal size let's say this size right and all of the images should be made with you know of the equal size so that when you upload the images they look equal and they look better so if you upload random images like this you know if you if you select a, a, let's say one of these sizes so it is going to sometimes shrink it is going to sometimes you know uh, broaden up and it's not going to look good at the same time you know if you upload the exact size images so you do the additional effort you know so design the images in a perfect way make it a uh, perfect size one size and then you upload them over here so it is going to look much better on your page so this is the kind of homework that you need to do when it comes to making your slider you know uh, images and it will have that reflection on your page that it is going to look much 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 better right so that's what this is something that you need to do while making your slider and yeah that's uh, that's it that's it for this particular video